So we are quickly going to learn how we can do this gradient animation on our text. You can see we can also target a specific keyword in our uh, whole heading. And it's pretty easy to do. So make sure you like and subscribe to get more features or more tutorials like this. So the first thing you need to know that we are actually going to need something called custom CSS and it is only available in Elementor Pro and the link is in description. So just simply click on it, click on it and it will lead you to Elementor Pro. And here we can actually just need to do is I'm quickly going to just duplicate this one so that I can show it pretty quickly. Uh, I'll do is do this so that right now let's just delete it so right now what I have is I have a text so I actually did is added a heading like this and then basically do all the changes that you want in our in, our, in your heading tab make whatever color you want at least for to like at least to check it out right now and basically in this one what we need to do is I'm going to set it to P and in this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a css class of let's call it a head highlight so heading highlight something like that okay so i'm going to give all of this as head highlight and that would make everything as a gradient and what we actually need to do is we actually need to use this css code which basically says that uh, it should have an animation called move gradient it should uh, run for four seconds in a linear speed and infinite duration and what move gradient is is this animation so basically this name and this name should be same and we actually create a keyframe animations for it to move so we we want to move like the background position 200 percent from the center and basically we are adding a background image to our text like this with a linear gradient which goes to right side so from left to right it goes with this colors and then background size i'll explain that quickly and then webkit uh, background clip true so what basically it does is let me just go in here okay let me just go in here and type head highlight if you want to just copy paste you could copy paste it i'll give this in description and basically if i copy this one and do this one you could see nothing's quite happening I guess okay it's not going to show so what we are going to do is we are going to add our uh, let's do animation and background and let's do only this two first so right now nothing's happening you can see and for that what we need to do is we actually need to make this transparent so you could see that we actually have to make it have no colors because we are controlling the colors from our custom CSS and right now nothing is moving because we are just giving a background gradient to it so at that point we need to actually make the background size to something bigger so if i do like background size to 200 percent you could see and right now you could see the animation is actually working because uh, it is actually added in here so which is why it's actually making this one change actually it's happening because this move gradient i have added around here so let me just change the animation to something like move gradient 2 because I have added the CSS here so it is using that animation here so I'm just changing the animation name to move gradient 2 and in this one if I just make it to let's say 100% of background size then it will choose the 100% if I make it to 10% this is how it looks make it 20 30 50 and 60 so depending on that you could choose so for now I'm using 200% and then I'm going to copy the animation into this and I'm going to call this move gradient 2 because we are setting it to move gradient 2 like this and you could see it is already moving and basically if I make this to like 10% you could see what's happening and if I make it to 100% this is how it looks it's very slowly moving actually it's not moving in 100% at all so let's do 150 and you could see it's moving if I do 20 so 200 just works perfectly and with four second five second you could choose how much faster you want so if i do one second it would go pretty fast two second like much much slower than what one second was and basically four seconds seems good enough to make it look like this and basically we are moving the background position of this one to 200 percent 
from the center to the x-axis so like this so we can obviously change this one too and that would not do anything it would not show much difference because we are actually moving in a slower pace right now so if i make this to like 10 you could see we are just moving it to like even slower pace so let's do just 200 200 just works nicely you see and what we are going to do is to basically make it only choose like specific keywords let me just duplicate this or oh, let's not duplicate let's just work in this one so you can see we are actually calling it head highlight because we want it to be controlled by head highlight and if i make if i make this like h1 or h2 it still works so no issues sometimes it does not work which was confusing me and if that does not work then you could do is uh let's say if you have selected h1 just add like h1 around here or h2 around here and sometimes it does not work i'm not sure it is i don't know if it's depending on elementor or not because i'm not like i don't know much css but this is what i know so basically what we'll do is we'll copy the head highlight text from here we will remove it from css classes and what we will do is let me just copy this one instead okay oops let me first copy this one never mind so let's just copy this and right now what we need to do is wherever we want our text to be gradient we will add this thing so let me just type so we'll add span class uh, g so we've called it head highlight right so head highlight head highlight and then do this and basically what we are doing is we are doing the same thing as adding our css class but this one we can actually make it much more controllable and that way if i add it below empowering it will make everything in front of it have head highlight class but we want it to only be available for empowering so we'll just close it with a close bracket so we just type h span and anything between this should be uh, should be the text which you want to highlight so if i let's say just copied this and pasted it here you could see that it is actually making this work but also you can see that it's not actually making all of the text work for example if i make it to like something like this you could see it's not working okay so what we can do is rather than using this at all we can just simply you know use the html so font color equal to uh, whichever hash, hash value that you want so you could add any hash value that you want so let's say fff that is for white i believe or which one is it let's see so fff is color of white so basically you can also use this css gradient site in which you could see how the gradient can look and then basically you know copy every single hash value and then add it around here for font color not font color for uh sorry where is it uh where is it okay there we go <laughs> so in this one you could see that we have like five values you could basically just try how it looks and then copy this one then copy this one manually to each of this but if you want our font to have specific color you could also add that hash value or i'll simply type black and then i'll go and copy it around here you could see we have added black color well we actually want to make it white so let me just type white and i'll stop it before empowering so let's do is add a slash font so basically we typed this and then typed this to end it so basically it would look something like this so mind mastery and then we will do stuff like this and then make this one let's say i want to have growth as our next highlighted color so i will do the font color again from here and then stop the font color before growth and then do is add our span class in growth and then close the span class and then do the same thing for the success and do the same thing for font like this oops and then if i copy this you could see how this works obviously i needed to make it not have black color so let me quickly switch it to from white sorry from black to white okay now that should work and you could see we actually got only those two headings working for us which are like gradient and all and that's how easy it is to make a gradient effect in it so remember you will need custom css and you could get it from my link in description